Okay, that's it. Seven hours I ran the graphite. Uh, the yield looks pretty good. Uh, I moved it in this room so I didn't have to listen to the blender, but I did have to change blenders because uh, this top part was melting on the other one. And it's melting on this one too. So the top is going to have to be a replace there. But about 149, 150 degrees. Uh, so it could be just the heat. So, but I'm running it in a to where I'm getting about 200 milliliters of the acetone back through the condenser, and that's where I'm stopping it. So pretty dense, and it it does tend to climb up the wall. Now this is acetone and this much of it is floating on top of the acetone so that's probably a good sign that that's uh, very few layers uh, uh, you know one, two, maybe three layer graphene. Now it's clumping together and it'll drop as it groups together which means that this down here probably a lot of this on top here is also graphene but it's clumped together and that's increasing the weight and it's falling down. That's a condenser with nothing in it. You know, it couldn't be any simpler to build than that. This is a much better blender. It has uh, liquify that locks. So it's, uh, it's not got PVC, so this lid fits tight. There is absolutely no smell of acetone well a little bit now because I just dumped that in there but basically when it's running you cannot smell the acetone at all which is perfect because I wanted to be able to run it in the basement and not have to run it outside and forget about it so this is working really well I'm pretty pleased with this setup I thought about I could make something that would just sit on top of here because it's condensing that's changing the pressure ratio in the in the condenser it could almost be mounted in a closed loop on the lid uh, you'd probably have to purge it to get it started but I'm pretty sure you could make it self-contained without too much issue so uh, that's the other runs because this is a large run this is 120 milligrams 120 grams of graphite that I started with, flake graphite, uh, I wanted to go through this complete run. And because all this is going to be turned into carbon, uh, it'll be conductive, no question. So uh, the whole point is to, to get the yield up on that block of graphene, graphite, basically carbon to allow me to get a high uh, continuity through it so so the next video I'll be cooking that off showing you how what we're getting as far as conductivity and the process I will be running through this whole process from the beginning with another batch that I create because I haven't had halfway through this batch I come up with a closed loop system so I don't know how much acetone I'm actually losing and how much I'm recovering um, this thing right here has been uh, consistently around this mark which is hard to see it might have lost a little bit but the liquids almost right on that mark which is where it was when I started so I couldn't be losing too much acetone in the process this right here when you lift this to vent that a slightly to start it dripping uh, you're letting some of the gas escape there but such a small amount that I'm pretty sure that I can reuse the acetone multiple times uh, to reduce the cost so that's about it for now this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out